This uh, shop has been open about six weeks, so I like to support local business. Uh, the owners are great, the coffee's great, the food is great. Uh, it's run by Joey and Tina. I highly suggest you come and check it out if you're in the Cusco area. Yeah, really, really good coffee, really good food. Let's get in there and have a little look. Got some nice empanadas here. Some nice breads. And we've got some cake here, which is a homemade recipe, which I have got, and I'm gonna try. How good does that look? Yeah, and I've got a, well, a tea here called, uh, Joey, Joey, sorry to interrupt. Joey, sorry to interrupt. What's, what's the name of that uh, tea? Cascara. Cascara I've, yeah. asked, I've asked you about 100 times. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's very, very good, very good. Yeah, it's uh, excellent. Um, so I'm a big so tea drinker, being English, so yes. First you need a Yeah, does that look? It's very, very good. Yeah, this cake is the bomb. Let's have a bit of a try of this. That is good cake. Very, very good cake. Joey, the uh, cake is excellent. Sorry, oh, since good, very, very good. Oh, yeah, it's good. <laughs> very nice. It's tea. Excellent. If you've got any questions for me, feel free to uh, fire away. Uh, actually, three people. Yeah. I want to talk like some sport today, something. Um, I want to talk Alianza Lima, I want to talk Partizan, I want to talk OFK Beardbrad. Hola, como esta? Tommy, how are you doing? You alright, mate? How are you? Thanks for your support as always, you're a legend. Greatly appreciated. Yeah. I've got a lot of love for Serbia, uh, culture, food, sport, people, everything. I think that's uh, well highlighted in my videos as well. So, I wanted to talk about some different things in this live video. Uh, I wanted to talk about sport, I wanted to talk about Serbia, I wanted to talk about Peru, I wanted to talk about the second channel. The second channel is Berms on Tour. Uh, link is in the description. It's also on my homepage. All my food videos and travel videos will be on that uh, actual uh, channel. So if you're not subscribed, go and check that out. Um, I'm going to be trying a food uh, soon called Koi. I'm just building up to it, the courage, because I don't know if you know what Koi is, but Koi is a guinea pig. Now, uh, guinea pig in England, it's like a pet. And I uh, spoke to my sister about it. I said, I'm going to eat koi guinea pig. And she was not happy. She was saying, don't do it. But, you know, when you're in Rome, it's tradition here. So, yeah, I think I will try that, definitely. Uh, that should be an experience. But, yeah, I'm just building the courage at the moment. Uh, I'm also going to go uh, around the corner a minute after this uh, live stream and actually... Um, have a, a three course meal for three dollars, which I think is absolutely crazy. I mean, three courses for three dollars, it's mad. So I don't know what the standard food's like, but yeah, that'd be interesting. Uh, so after this, I'm gonna go and film around the corner. But uh, yeah, I just, like I said earlier, I wanna speak about a few things. Uh, I wanna speak about, um, Obviously, Serbia, as you mentioned, uh, I am looking to come back to Serbia at some point. Um, I know it's probably a little bit cold at the moment uh, in Serbia, so yeah, when it warms up, I think that's when I will head over to Serbia. That's, that's the plan. Uh, what time is it here? Uh, that's a good question. It is 12 o'clock. Is it, is it 12 o'clock? Um, 12 o'clock. Is it 12? 10 past 12. Yeah, 12.05, yeah. 12.05, yeah, there you go, 12.05. Right, I don't prune, how is the weather uh, there? Is it rainy season? 
Uh, rainy season is about to start, I hear. Uh, November, December is the rainy season uh, in Peru, so that's something to look forward to. So I feel home from home. Obviously, you come from England, it's always raining. So yeah, but um, it's quite. It's been quite warm for the past few days out here. You look at 19 degrees. So I don't know what it is in Serbia. Obviously, uh, Tommy, you live in Sweden, so I don't know what the uh, what the weather's doing there. I imagine pretty cold. So but yeah, it's, it's been okay. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting prepared for the the rain. So it should be it should be interesting. Yeah. Um, right, um, okay, Partizan Sampion, Maxim, yes indeed, right, okay, that, that, that leads me on to uh, what I want to talk about, Partizan, uh, Belgrade, uh, basically they've got rid of the uh, regime that was in charge before, I think they were to do with Red Star, that's what I believe, I don't know how true that is, maybe you could enlighten me uh, with that, but yeah, I heard they uh, had a regime running uh, partisan, which involved a Red Star. It's political. Now they have gone. Um, now you've got like a president in charge who's a former player, uh, pre Dag. That's I think I say say pre Dag Yeah, he's an absolute legend of a player. Quality at Real Madrid. He's now in charge, so I think he'll have the best interests of partisan football club at heart. So it'd be interesting to see what happens there, but. The one thing that I absolutely love and I've just been waiting for for a long time is to see a full south stand. You know, the grave diggers in full effect, the robbery packed out. I've been watching the basketball and they always get good crowds, but with the football because of the politics, because of obviously let's say the Red Star regime in charge, which I've been led to believe, uh, they were protesting by not uh, coming to the games. Um, so there's f frustration there, but the game that I saw on Saturday, uh, a lot of friends uh, showed me pictures, videos of um, uh, the, the game on Saturday, and I'll tell you what, absolutely mind blowing. Just good to see, you know, the black smoke everywhere, the, 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 the flares, the singing, just looked absolutely rocking. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm gutted that I wasn't there. But you know, like I said earlier, when uh, Serbia gets warmer, then I will look to uh, venture over. And I just want to see uh, a full south stand and you know, grave diggers in full effect. That That is what I've been looking forward to for a long, long time. Um, and like I say, when I was doing some vlogs, you know, there's still protests going on, so it wasn't full. The only time that I saw it pretty full was against coal, which uh, a lot of people saw that vlog. That was the uh, Europa Cup. And that, I mean, that there was a few uh, fans there, but you know, I can only imagine what it's like with a packed out stadium. But yeah, sadly, looked absolute class. Some of the some of the footage that I saw, I'd like say I wish I was there. But yeah, great to see, and that's what I've been looking forward to seeing for a long, long time because it's it's you know you see the basketball, the fans there, a lot of fans, and then you see the football. It's totally different. But Saturday was absolutely rocking. So. Yes, go on the grave diggers, class. So I teach you. So I. Okay. Right. Why did you choose to support Partizan and not Zvezda? Okay, well. It's. That's a good question. Um, I think in uh, Belgrade. The, the amount of time that I was there, people are like, are you Zvezda, are you Partizan? And it gets to a point of where you have to choose one. And I've said it in previous videos before, I think I identify with Partizan. Uh, the music, the culture, for me to rock and roll club. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's got something about that club which I identify with. I think I've said to friends before, it's a rock and roll club. Uh, yeah, the music and everything. Yeah, I just, yeah, it's a rock and roll club. So I don't know, you just, you just, it's in life, isn't it? You, unless your dad uh, tells you you're a Zvezda fan or a Partizan fan, you have to make a choice. And I was uh, going to watch Partizan quite a lot. And uh, yeah, you just, that's it. You just feel, you feel something. You can't explain it. You just feel something for a club and you pick the club and that's it. But I've got respect, I've said this before, I've got respect for all serving clubs. 
I mean, I, you know, I, I, I've obviously I've done some uh, videos on Afka, which I want to talk about in a moment as well. I've got a lot of respect for Afka. I know a lot of good people down there. Uh, it's just an incredible story for me. They've come from the third division and now they're in the, the, the top flight, which I think is incredible. I, uh, you know, interviewed uh, some of the fans and got the feel for the club, the fans, when there was in, uh, problems. They actually dug the club out the, the crap and they stuck with it. I know what Afka means to the community of Karabuma. Um Yeah, so that's an incredible story. So, you know, I've got, I've got a lot of love for Afka as well. Um, but, you know, look, you look at Zvezda, uh, the historical club. Uh, I've got a lot of friends who are Zvezda fans, real cool, you know, cool people. So, you know, I've got a lot of respect for, for all clubs. Uh, um, yeah, so I respect I respect uh, serving football in general, but yeah, obviously I go to parties and uh, quite a lot, and I watch after as well. So yeah. Okay, when do you come back to Serbia? Yeah, I said earlier um, when it gets a little warmer, I'm looking to come back. I imagine it's very very cold in Serbia right now, so um, yeah, I think when it's a little warmer, I always tend to when I'm travelling, I always end up at like real cold places so this i wanted to change that a little bit that's what i went to south america i wanted to well obviously i want to see the culture in south america as well um, but i wanted to be in the warmth a little bit you know i'm fed up with being in the cold england is cold it's always raining it's just gray so i like a little bit of sun so yeah but i know serbia winters can be cold so I'm looking to come, I would say, when it, when it warms up a little bit. And also, uh, I know the football uh, runs later than England. It goes beyond May, so I'll be watching some uh, football matches then as well. That's the plan. Uh, right, OK. Um, going back on to Ofka. Um, I want to know what's happening with the stadium. I've spoke to my friends about this. Uh, I was under the impression that the, the council, uh, Belgrade, the city, would actually uh, revamp the stadium. But I've been told by people that there's nothing happening. I've been, uh, I've got like uh, photos to see that there's nothing happening. So this is very disappointing for me because Africa are playing like, I don't know, 200 miles away or something. So that is very disappointing. Uh, Africa needs to play in Belgrade. Uh, the people of Karaburma, uh, the fans, I know what the club means to them. It's no good just doing away games. So. I think um, that the, the council, uh, the city of Belgrade, they need to pull the finger out and they need to work on that stadium because, you know, it's uh, you, you can't have Oscar playing, like I say, so far away because the fans need to watch football. They can't just keep going to away games. So the stadium needs to be worked on. So it's disappointing to hear that nothing's being done. So I hope, I'd say, Belgrade... Uh, the, the city of Belgrade, the council, if you're listening, then basically you need to pull your finger out and you start working on that stadium because, you know, the, the fans need, you know, to see home games. Okay, will you visit Novi Sad when you come back to Serbia and watch Vojvodina? Uh, yes, I will visit Novi Sad again. Uh, I, I've been there uh, countless times, got lots of friends in Novi Sad, very, very uh, cool city. I've been to Vojvodina as well. Um, go and check out the vlog if you haven't already seen it. Um, but yeah, Vojvodina, um, I will go and watch them again, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I do love uh, Novi Sad and the people. Uh, it's a very cool city, very quirky. Some real, real good people there. And they like to party as well. So yeah, definitely, I'll, I'll be definitely back there. Um, right, going back in, I just want to go briefly on to uh, obviously Peru, uh, Alianza Lima, I watched that the team the day, uh, they're neck and neck with uh, a team called Universitario, I think that's how you say it, but on Sunday there's a massive game, it's the, they're both neck and neck for the Peruvian league, it's like 36 points each, um, so you know, there could be a lot of twists and turns, so whoever wins, whoever loses, you know, they're going to win the league, so that's, that's going to be something uh, special to see, but I will be, uh, I'm going to look at that definitely. Um, also want to talk about Birmingham City, uh, my club, um, we're in the third division, but there's a bit of Hollywood in uh, Birmingham at the moment, we've got uh, Tom Brady, who's our NFL 
uh, legend. He's president of the club, lots of money. Uh, we've got a great manager called Chris Davis. He is playing some real exceptional football. You know, uh, kind of football that I like to see. You know, keeping the ball. Uh, we're top of the league, third division, so we will be back in the Premier League at some point. But also, you've got Wrexham in there as well. I don't know if you've uh, seen a documentary, Ryan Reynolds and a guy called Rob McKenna, I can't even say it, Rob McHenry, something like that. He's in a Philadelphia, uh, some TV show, uh, Sunny in Philadelphia. But yeah, them two, Wrexham, they've got a documentary. They're about third at the moment. So yeah, a little bit of Hollywood in uh, English. Division three, which I think is very cool. Um, but yeah, Birmingham will back to the Premier League. But check, check them out, play some good football. Um, also, I want to talk about uh, the Ballon d'Or. Uh, Rodrigo uh, won the Ballon d'Or, uh, the Manchester City midfield player. For me, he's an absolute class player. Uh, people go to Vinny or whatever, Real Madrid, yeah, the good season. But for me, if I was a manager, Rodri would be the first time on the team sheet every year. Every song, what a quality, quality player. Yeah, so I think that's deserved personally. Yeah, far away with any questions you may have. Like I say, I'm not going to be here much longer. I need to go around the corner, get something to eat. This place I'm going to, not so that much, like you know, for very long, sorry. Um, so, yeah, any questions far away? I've talked about Alianza Lima, I've talked about Partizan, I've talked about Ofcat in this video, I've talked about Burnham City. Uh, talked about uh, Rodri, the Ballon d'Or, and uh, what else can I mention? Obviously, I'm uh, a boxing fan as well. Tyson Fury is fighting Alexander Yusik in December. I'm really looking forward to that fight. Also, there's a fighter called Ben Whitaker. He's from the Midlands. He had a controversial uh, finish to a boxing match of the day. We fell out the ring with a a guy called Lewis Cameron, who's a very tough fighter. I think that should, uh, well, that should be a rematch. I'll be looking forward to see if, if that happens. Um, yeah, that's generally it, really. I'd say um, I do like my boxing, but obviously you got uh, Jake Paul fighting uh, Mike Tyson soon. I'm not sure if that is a is a good uh, idea. Uh, Mike Tyson's a very old man. He's about 57, I think, something like that. He's fighting Jake Paul. He's about 28. You know, I don't know if it's a good idea, really. I just uh, think, you know, I don't want people to get hurt. I think it comes to a stage where, you know, you, you, you get on in life and uh, time comes calling. So, yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. But it'd be intriguing. I'll, I'll be watching that. What? Yeah, really looking forward to watching Tyson Fury UC what? in December. What? Very good what? fight. What? Um, what? If you've got any more questions, yeah, right. or if you want to let me know where you're from, yeah. far yes. away, and say I'm getting hungry, so yeah, let me know. If not, I'm going to make a move. Yeah. Okay. Now when we put. The it's like in those WhatsApp chat groups when you get the people watching but not saying anything. You know, just uh, curious, just kind of look and being quiet. So, yeah, I'm going to give it like, say, five minutes more. And if I don't hear anything, then I'm going to go and film in the corner. Get my three course meal for three dollars. But yeah, in this video, like I say, this video will be. Uh, there for you to see. So I've talked about Partizan, I've talked about Ofka, I've talked about Alianza Lima, I've talked about uh, Peruvian food, I've talked about Serbia, Serbian food. Um, I mentioned, like I said, I've got another channel called Birmingham Tour. It's got loads of food and travel on that uh, channel. So if you're food orientated, then go and subscribe to that channel. Lots of content on there, all sorts Serbian, uh, Peruvian. Greek, Turkish, all sorts. Yeah, yeah lots of food. So yeah, I'm going to give it, like I say, a few minutes more. If there's no uh, no questions, then that's it. What's that, Tommy? I will tell my daughter you'll eat her favourite pet. All oh, right, okay, yeah. Uh, if you didn't, uh, you wasn't in the room earlier. I was just explaining in Peru they eat something called guinea pig. Uh, it's called koi. I'm just building the koi to eat that. Um, yeah, my sister had actually had a guinea pig as well. But uh, yeah, I'm really building the koi to eat that. I've, I've seen them and they look a bit scary. So. <laughs>
So let me tell you, daughter, I'm sorry. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's history, tradition here. So yeah, and I'm told it's, it's supposed to be pretty nice. So yeah, so, but yeah, tell your daughter, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, I will be eating that soon. Just build up the courage. Yeah. What's the weirdest thing uh, you've eaten food-wise? Um, I've had tortoise before. I've had ostrich, crocodile. What else have I had? Um, I've had horse. Yeah, I've had, I've had a few different things. Uh, sheep's head, uh, sheep's brain, cow stomach soup. Uh, yeah, some weird things. So, Koi will just be adding to it. Oh, yeah, I had uh, anti Kutch over the day as well in Peru. Uh, and that's uh, cow's heart. And that was, uh, it was, it was not bad tasting. It was like barbecue and had some spicy sauce on it. It was nice, but I couldn't get over a little bit of the flesh, the fleshy kind of texture. You know, you, you know you're eating like uh, heart, so yeah, but uh, yeah, koi will just be added to the list of strange foods. But, yeah, I'm just building the courage for that at the moment because, uh, yeah, when you see it, it is a little bit, yeah, strange. But uh, like I say, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you later, guys. Ciao. I am. Yeah, it's very good. Yes, that's it.